Okay, this is um, how to make your second homemade clay tool. Um, you need two popsicle sticks, two paper clips, roll of duct tape, pair of scissors. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. It is uh, a loop on one end for removing clay, subtracting clay, and it is a really pointy, uh, what's called a needle tool or a pin tool on the other end for scoring clay, poking clay, cutting clay. It's basically the same thing as what your skewer is for, except it's a little more sturdy. Okay, so that's uh, what we're gonna make, double-ended tool. So the first one, I'm gonna do the loop tool first. If you just put the uh, paper clip as it is on there, that's not really enough room I don't think for you to take clay away from your project. So basically what you're gonna do is undo that paper clip, unfold it, and reshape the end of it the way you want it to be. Okay, so here are some examples that I did. I've done all different types of shapes on the ends of mine. Okay, um, so go ahead and unfold your paper clip. That's easy. It is easy. And then on the end of it, or sorry, in the middle, in the middle of it, shape it the way you want to and make it a little bit bigger than what the end of a paper clip normally is. Do you want to cut it? Uh, don't cut it. We're gonna tape it up in between two of the popsicle sticks, so um, there's no need to cut it. Okay. And then you wanna, <clears throat> as you, you got it shaped, so I've got this one shaped the way I want. I'm gonna kind of pinch it in the middle so that it's skinny at the bottom because I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sandwich it between my popsicle sticks to make it stronger before I duct tape it. So this is how I would do it. I would put the duct tape down, sticky side up, and then put your popsicle stick, go ahead and put it on there like this. <clears throat> and put it up to the up to the top of the duct tape, line that up with the top of the popsicle stick. Then I'm gonna put that uh, paper clip end on top of that popsicle stick and I wanna sandwich it between the two popsicle sticks. If you have to bend it to make it fit between the two popsicle sticks, do whatever you gotta do to make it fit. Hold it together. Don't want it on the side of the popsicle stick. You want it on top of the popsicle stick so the other popsicle stick will be on top of it. Like so. And then I'm gonna roll that over, that duct tape over. Whoop, mine popped out. That's okay. I think what I need to do is kind of bend this end up like a paper clip normally does and that might help it to not roll off of the popsicle stick while I'm trying to tape it. You guys see how I did that? I bent the ends of it so that it won't roll off the edge. You wanna pull this duct tape really tight around it. And again, fill in the sides to make sure that that paper clip is not rolling off of the side of the wood. Pull that around there tight, like that. And then I, I cut another piece of duct tape, and then I wanna cut it a skinnier piece off of that. And I like to pretty much just wrap, tuck this in between here, in between your loop, and wrap that down. Because I wanna pretty much cover all of the popsicle stick. Because as you know, wood is not totally um, unaffected by water. I'm gonna duct tape my whole wooden stick up so that it's a little more waterproof. So, cause I'm gonna have to wash it sometimes and it's gonna get clay on it. 
So I went through the loop and down, and now I'm going back over that just to reinforce it another time around the edge where the paper clips in there. So that's one end pretty much done. You can just undo one side to make it pointy like that, but I gotta be I gotta be extra, and I don't think that I think that's too long for me. So I'm gonna unfold it completely and redo it the way I want to do it. The second end, you guys, is gonna be just a really sharp pointy end. So once you get this to look about like you want it here, I'm gonna slip that in between the two popsicle sticks like that. And do the same thing with the tape. Wrap it around real tight. I would say the last step, check it, check it and make sure it's pretty sturdy by pushing it a little bit, not side to side, but like up against the popsicle stick, what I would say front to back. Side to side, you're probably not gonna use it like that because that's not as strong, but it's pretty strong if you push on it this way. Same thing with this one, you're gonna be scraping that clay like this. So kind of check it and make sure it's on there real tight. And then the very last step, I would just use my duct tape to cover any um, any wood I can see, even like right here. I would cover that too. Just wrap that bad boy up. Even cover this uh, cover this wood that's showing in the middle. Pretty pretty uh, spiffy little tool. 